whoa that that sound had never happened before because of the, i just heard a loud beep when i started recording and i'm like that's a first anyway that was that that took me by surprise i didn't know that was a thing <laughs> anyway um hello everybody it's the phoenix 101 and we have ty wheezy and omega red doing a track I think it's a uh, Adventure Time inspired Marceline and Ice King. Marceline and Ice King, their relationship is very interesting. I just don't fully remember everything. It's been a while since I've watched Adventure Time. Uh but yeah, I believe eh doesn't matter. Let's get right into it. I'm pretty sure the song is going to clear up a lot, so I wonder what vibe they're going for here. Is it going to be more sad mal- m- um let's see. Let's see, let's go ahead. Let's check it. Let's peep it. Mix and master by Alpha the King. Production Lord Necros. Visuals by J Merck. Visuals looking is oh, interesting. I'd watch out for Necros if I were you. I also like how the drum has um, Ice King playing it. Okay, interesting. Wait, no. I want to form a proper opinion on this. Oh, okay. So when it comes to like... Um... Vocal stacking, the way I see it is that it should be in the form of like a... Think of a choir, right? You got mezzo, you got soprano, you got um, someone who does the melody, you have the bass, you have the... You know, I feel like for this aesthetic, it kind of fits. Um, It's very medieval. Very kind of like a medieval type of... Ghost type of vibe, and you, you expect a violin or a piano, they just dom 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 or something like that. Um, hmm. I don't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the singing is good. It's just I don't know if everything fits together. I like. I just. I'm. I. I don't know. I can't. Let me just hear more. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another sad story. Interesting. Um, I'm trying to form a proper opinion here. Like the white noise effect works because it just fits the aesthetic of the song. I think it's trying to. It's doing what it wants, right? Uh Hmm. What I think would also help is if there was a vocal in the background. Ooh, to add to 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 fill to fill up some some of that space in the back. To, uh, ooh, and then um, I think that it just needs a bit more of a because there's the emptiness and I. It, I think it both works for the aesthetic and also doesn't, which is very weird. And I don't really know how to explain it because it works for the aesthetic. But for the song, does it work? Hmm. Does it fit the aesthetic or does it fit the song? That's an interesting thing to think about. Where here we go? Another here we go. Sad story about a girl alone world with nowhere no. to go too mm. many unfurled head of swirls gripping heads curled moving it slow yeah mm. way mm. like the ocean yeah. where were you when i needed a hand abandoned like the hazardous layer oh need a noose loser screws mm. gripping and gasping i'm trapped in grasping a fraction i'm asking for the piece that i'm oh, i just like her rapping bro there's some there's just the sauce about it you know and the fraction of that's it that 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 yes do it Gripping and gasping, I'm trapped in Grasping a fraction, I'm asking for the piece that I'm lacking 
Yeah. Load the stress that I'm packing. Yeah. Stacking up building walls. Now I'm forced to put my back against a nigga. Fuck you. Yeah. I said all the kicking and punches and curse. Damn, she just straight up says, F you, bro. How dare you do that to me? How dare you? Huh? How you know I had to do this. I had to put myself through all of this. I had to fend for myself. How dare you look down on me? How dare you say you you know? Understand those emotions truly. And then so now structure is going to be chorus of verse one and then verse two and then it's gonna probably end off with the chorus, I believe. I think that's how it's I said all the kicking and punches and curses. I swear it was worth it. Yeah. The worst is before I found you, see I was worthless. Yeah. Purpose, just fighting battles deep in my head. A yeah. So with a crown, the king of tears that I shed. Yeah. The moment of silence, I gotta be honest. The hardest knowing I had hardness. The darkness devoured my hardness. Hardness. I'm not a narcissist. My brain is narc narcotic. Is the crown gives me accomplishment. My brain is narc narcotic. Ooh. Okay. Okay. My brain's narc narcotic gives the crown gives me mm. accomplishment. Mm. And really that's saved. See for me it is slave, but for you it gave so wear this crown to my grave. It helped you. Didn't help me so much. Kinda enslaved me. But for you, I'll do anything. Ah do the story of Ice King and Mars. The, the Ice King's story, Simon's story, to be honest, is one of the best ones in the cartoon yeah it's one of the, it's re, yeah it's really good this cartoon is really good you think about it because there's so much going on every character has their own thing going on you know their own drive their own amb- it's very well written now i'm talking about the show but like i mean peppermint butler has his own story arc you know like we all he, he messed up too oh so, we thought Princess Bubblegum was messed up, which she is. But her subordinates, some of her subordinates are just as messed up. Anyway, yeah, let me. I think it definitely does that. Ooh, man, that pain inside. You know that. Ooh, <coughs> God, yeah. man, that pain inside, or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's that's something. That's something. I had I had a point I wanted to make here. Oh right, when singing, right? The way I see singing is that the voice is an instrument. Definitely, you can train it, you can practice it. It's a muscle and it's an instrument. Your muscles, you can train your muscles, you can exercise your muscles, they become better. And then when it and you, when it comes to an instrument, you practice. So the voice being an instrument for me is I want it to be with the other instruments. You know, I don't want... It can be some... Yeah, it's okay to overpower. The voice is the main, you know. Just like you have the guitar, which is the main, and everything else is in the background. It's fine. But in singing, you want it to be more in, to be within. There are exceptions where the song is aesthetically like this, where it's like, okay, the voice is good. Everything else is going to be more in the backdrop, which is fine. But also, like, instruments to be a part of, you know, the voice, the way I see it, you know? I like I like it like that. <laughs> That's just my personal uh, feelings about it. It's all subjective, not objective, really. But otherwise, really good song. I like the message is there, very well portrayed. And for my first time hearing Taweezy sing, like sing sing, I, she has a good voice, very good voice, and I'd love to hear more from her. Definitely would love to hear more from her. Yeah. All that being said, I think I have said everything I want to do. 
I can't think of anything else. Other than that, let me know how you guys felt about this in the comments down below. Omega Red also, <laughs> can't, you know, he said some really cool stuff. I really liked it. Delivery on point, on fleek. Some of the, the things, he, like I said, the message was very well put out. I fully understood everything and everything just came back. I'm like, all right, by the way, this is their relationship. Really well done.